Welcome back on Dynamod. Today I want to propose you a video about uh, the unboxing review about the new Dynabot SCAR. This is part to combine for the core Legacy Evolution 1 to create Volcanicus. This is uh, the new Dynabot because previously there has been 5 Dynabot, then there has been added Slash even if uh, not to combine for Volcanicus. This uh, is uh, a new add and uh, I quite like sincerely about this. As usual, I suggest you to see also the other videos. This should be the fourth, but I made swoops before because I received and found this before than this, but they arrived almost contemporary. So I decided to make this to have connections before than this one. And remember that so we have this that is swoops, we have Grimlock, so we have this one, we have this one too. So as you can see we have uh, quite a lot of them, there are 6 total to create and uh, this uh, is something that I quite appreciate. Remember that if you are interested about only the model you can eventually use uh, the box for other things. I don't like that the box there is this hold, I can say window, that made uh, and so on, okay. But still uh, I think that uh, taking and keep aside the images uh, are really quite amazing. So. As just suggest to eventually, it's quite um, nice to convert it, even if it's quite high in the number of conversion. And here we can see so the robot and the dinosaur mode. And uh, I quite like this Ankylosaurus, so I think that it's a great choice. Has yet been announced the part related about the sixth one that uh, it's stable, so it's the fifth of the classical one. So now we can open this and see. The contents inside because there are quite things to play with and we can start to almost finish Vulcanicus so I'm really quite curious about seeing almost completed so we can find the guarantee the instructions that I suggest you always to keep because they are can be really quite useful to remember they are really simple so you remember easily how to make the passages, so it's not a problem. Remember that this is the arm, so it's uh, quite intriguing about this. And so the only thing that it's uh, remain is to free the model from here and see the contents about the mod itself, how to convert and so on. We can yet see that uh, it's quite nice about such part. This it's smaller because it's a bit thicker the mod itself, so this part is more about here. Anyway, it's something that you could use as a background. I like, as usual, that there are such things, so you don't have to cut or so on, you have simply to unwrap it, and it's really quite easy to play with. Remember that there are also that pass here, so that you have to pay attention when you remove, so that you have to keep outside from the hands. And uh, there are quite a lot of interesting parts. This is technically a combination of the one that we've seen from the slug, the sludge, that has the head that you had to attach to the back and this uh, that uh, it comes from swoops or from the others for example teachers and so on so you can use as a cannon, as a pistol or the as the tail so I quite like about such thing So here I have the robot version, here I put the piece in position, so it's really easy. I don't like because it's stressing a bit this part, so okay, perfect, but opposite to what we've seen about this, that it's much more fitting, and this it's a bit pressing outside, okay, and it's not bad. I, it's a pity that it doesn't have the elbows like for swoops, but swoops is an exception, seems. So it's uh, really quite nice and really quite bulky. And uh, I think that about the hoes, uh, it's uh, a bit problematic about here. And here it seems a bit like we've seen, for example, from Grimlock, because uh, it has almost the same holes about. And also here behind, like we can see, it's uh, with this who's about here. Anyway, it's another thing that, contrary to what we've seen about the checks here, these are not able to sustain these, but are up. So anyway, you can play with these things, but uh, they're not so, I can say, 
the amazing and so on eventually you can update this and play with this if you want to make some more i can say balancing or so on so anyway it's not bad and i quite like as you can see about the head it has quite amazing details so i think that it's a model quite worth anyway if you compare the scar mod in the robot mode with the dreadnought we can see a really massive difference because scar tend to be really quite massive it's much more similar if you go to compare to the contentor but still because it's bulky side i can say that it's almost perceived really much much bigger than the contentor itself even if itself would not be so big so anyway, it could be maybe a substitute to create something peculiar. Eventually, you have to make a recolor about the mod itself, but it has some quite fashion about, I think. So here we can compare these models in the robot version. We can see that this is a little smaller as technically high, but they're almost the same about. But it's much, much bulkier, because if you compare about the legs, it's almost the same about T-Checks and Grimlock, but the shoulder pads are much, much built and so on. I like because, um, if you notice, uh, all of them has a weapon except for him. <laughs> him is the only one and I think that has been really sacrificed because I can't understand why it's really the only one. You could have some accessories on that could be used, but it's really the only one that hasn't any, any other. Eventually you can use one of the soups once and give to him so at least it has a weapon and it make him borrow someone and uh, so i quite like about such and uh, they're quite nice in the robot mode okay this uh, not completely great but anyway it's really quite uh, good if you put all of them together so now we can convert this in scar in the robot the, from the robot to the dino version and then for the combiner so we can see. One thing to notice before to convert this in the dino mode mode, that you can make it bulkier or smaller with some simple tricks. For example, you can make like this, so these ones, and you can simply rotate this down and put this. As you can see, it changed quite a lot the ways that you can think about, because it seems much more, I can say, athletic than the other options but eventually you can simply make it seem much bulkier like this and remake this up so and so it's a blue side because it's a small change and it's only aesthetic it doesn't have one that it's much better or not other than you want to rotate because otherwise you can put like this if you block this not but uh, anyway it's how you decide how you want to make and i quite like such change and it's a simple one but nice About the dynamo mode, since it's quite similar in the transformation about this, for example the part about this, so the central part, the tail it's something that you can pick from the Grimlock or the Sludge, so it's not a problem. Since it's not bad, really. I don't like too much this part, because I would prefer if it would have been this that would be retracted, because this part, okay, that's useful for the combine and so on, but uh, it's a bit a bit of pity that has this support like this so okay but if you consider that you have to see like this or like up from this it's not a problem also because otherwise you see the holes up here so it's not bad at all if you think about and i quite like anyway you can eventually compare scar with the bastilodon of the seraphon and here we can find that scar anyway it's a bit smaller than this one but at the same time could be eventually used as an alternative because the base it's almost the same and the tail the part that goes outside the base itself it's not something important and about putting the things on this could be done eventually so it's something that could be a way to put 
as I said for swoops it could be made a sort of uh, artifact of son created by the slam or the old ones so that could be used in a really intriguing way because uh, it has uh, some protection I think what do you think? so here you can see the comparison because uh, here it's quite similar one and I don't like that it's, it's, so it's this small here we have this it's quite similar one also if you go to compare with Grimlock besides it's not bad you can have also this one that uh, not bad as you can see eventually you can transport this like this okay the only thing that I noticed that uh, is strange is that this Dinobot has all the symbol of the Autobot here as you can see it's anyway really seeable here instead here there is no way outside because it's inside here and uh, it's uh, strange because okay it's the new entry but uh, that it doesn't have the symbol visible of the autobot it's a bit strange but uh, it's not bad at all anyway i quite like such model really And so here are the converted parts. Sincerely, I don't like too much in such a way because uh, these pieces that are exposed are not the best, sincerely. But okay, so we can add this part about here. And we have so about such model. Okay, here we have to pay attention a bit about such end because it's not the best to keep positioning. But uh, it's uh, not bad at all at the end if you think about so okay you have really to think about how you want to create and uh, i think that uh, maybe this could have been done much better because the version in the robot and the version in the dinobot mode it's not bad and it seems like uh, the right or better the left and uh, it's left side it's not so great i still continue to think that uh, this like this would be much better at least so I had to think about finding something that can be put inside here to have more stable about. Still, uh, I quite like about such model because anyway, it's a uh, really quite amazing one and uh, I think that uh, the model is amazing. Now I only missing about the last tag leg to see how it can be done. But uh, for now, at least uh, it can really quite be an amazing model so you can support this with uh, other options for example you can use uh, some scavenging or so on to put uh, that uh, you have the option to use so that you can for example personalize so on this it's up to you decide if uh, it's worth for you to play with because uh, uh, it's amazing but uh, till you don't have the last one you can have others things to use so remember that you had the uh, weaponizer you have the one about the fossilizer so on you have a lot of things that you can improve such one and eventually improve such connection because uh, it's not completely the best since it's much better this one even if this has not the great mobility here you have that we can do this anyway so you have quite a lot of mobility also here you have eventually that you can close about this or free a bit so it's anyway able here okay it's a bit of connection that it's not the best but uh, it's uh, not the problem anyway because uh, eventually you can make like this so as you can see it's uh, not a problem eventually you can sweep out these ones the only problem is that the farm that it's uh, in here and here so, but um, it's uh, nice anyway so you have to think about uh, quite good things eventually you can use the parts different ways so for example you can have the central body that you can use it's perfect the central body and uh, adapt it with other things this is up to you and here we can see the comparison of Vulcanicus as it is in the basic mode against an Imperial Knight so eventually why not to choose to play with because they are mechanical both they are in some way intelligent, artificial intelligent, because it's controlled by human technically, but not always. So it's really quite intriguing to see, and it's eventually an alternative. It's quite 
nice, I think. So pay attention because it's a bit erratic, but nice. And if I think about combining Scar with Ratonite, I then have two different options. The first one is to use the weaponry here that it's also the hand for the Scar and for Vulcanicus here, the weapon here. And use a hand aside from this so that it could use as a hand. So, to have, so as you can see, it's uh, an option that eventually can bring some difference. Otherwise, do as I done for swoops. So to make in such a way that uh, Ratonite has Scar as a sort of uh, arm. So it could be interesting one. So here it's something that I find it really quite intriguing eventually. And if we combine both whoops and Scar, you can have really a sort of Ratonite Vulcanicus side. It's really quite intriguing. If uh, it would be nice to make the Ratonite combined, so to have also the option about the other things. So we can make a sort of Ratonite Vulcanicus side. Okay, I miss the other leg, but it has to be yet released when I register such video. So it could be really quite nice to play with something intriguing and amazing. Here we have Vulcanis combined with Ratonite. When we add to the Slug Sludge, Green Block, Swoops and Scar, you can see that at the end I use the Ratonite to create a leg and the weapon because I had not too many to say. About the leg, I want to remind you that I made such thing behind the one, but about the one from Grimlock, I extended because I prefer in such a way, I find it much, much better, so to play with, but the problem is that it's not so stable by itself, so it's nice that it's extended, but at the same time, it's not the best. So here we have quite a nice, a lot of things, to think because I like much more such extended version about Vulcanicus and I find it much much more proportional to play with. So from that mode it's everything, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, to ring the bell so to receive notification about new video, to comment under here about this video or if you want to suggest me new videos. So I hope to see you again to the next time.